Good morning. I am here with a late morning message for you all. And is really centered around mastering your mind. If I could tell you one of the single most important things that you'll need to do to grow your business and your life and really get the business and lifestyle that you deserve, it will be because you have mastered your mind. Now, many of you who come on may be believers, and you've heard the phrase, renewing your mind. It is something we must do daily. Because we are faced with so many opposing forces that look nothing like what it is we desire to build or have or do or be in our lives, it's so important that we cast down those thoughts, that we have some counteracting things that we've already prepared in our mind whenever fear shows up and begins to tell you about all the things that could go wrong if you step fully into your your next level. I encounter so many women entrepreneurs who are not happy or fulfilled in how they are currently running their business. And the biggest thing that they're really fighting is the thoughts and the words that are constantly showing up in their mind. And for believers, so many talk faith, speak faith all the time, the posts on social media, but when it's time for them to do something that's actually going to shift and change the trajectory of their life and their business, you will clearly be able to see the measure of faith that they are truly operating in because faith is always followed by action. And one of the reasons we repeat cycles of unhealthy relationships, um, unhealthy business models, things that we're not desiring, but we're walking through it, you know, routinely in our life. It's because of the thoughts that are in our mind. So our thoughts create our actions. They create what we do and what we don't do in our life. And so many times, guys, I've had to shift every single new level that I desire to achieve in my life and my business that is connected to this big, huge overall vision that I have, I have to police my thoughts. I have to check my thinking. I have to correct my thinking. And I, I did some posts recently. Well, I do them all the time because one of the biggest things um, I do with my clients is help them to achieve the mindset that actually allows them to move forward on, you know, the vision that they have for their life and their business. But in particular, I was just thinking about the renewing of the mind and, and how it is something you have to do daily. We oftentimes are operating so much so off of limiting beliefs, right? That we never really do the things that are actually going to get us to the next level. We do stuff, but it's not the stuff that's actually going to move the needle. And my heart goes out so much in this season. It's really prominent or evident. Uh, I was looking at my memories on um, this morning on Facebook and I saw a video I did two years ago and I thought about how much my life changed over the last two years like tremendously I made some really big moves I'm going to be talking about <clears throat> my story uh, at the retreat and helping women to understand how they can still move through adversity if they master their mind. 
so many things that have occurred in my life and business could have easily gone another way because of the circumstances I was facing, because of the situations, but because I learned to master my mind. So many of you will not go and do that next thing because the thoughts that are actually clouding your judgment are the thoughts about all the things that could possibly go wrong. You have to get to a space where you can master your mind, where your centralized focus is on how great things are going to be when you get to that next level. Now, whether you're, good morning, Tasha, whether you are uh, using scripture or, you know, finding someone who's talking about faith and helping you connect to your faith, you have to already have something planned and positioned because those thoughts that keep you small, many of you are just, you live in small because you haven't mastered your mind. It's not because you're not capable. It's not because you're not qualified for the next level. It's not because you don't have what you need to take that next step, but it's because you're not mastering your mind. So all of the thoughts of why it won't work, um, you know, lack, abundance, all of that is crowding any new efforts you would desire to take. One of the best things I could have ever done was step outside of what was normal. Uh, many of you know my background is in the beauty industry. So um, I've been a licensed stylist for over 26 years now, I believe. I owned a brick and mortar service-based business for about 10 years with staff, employees, all of that. But I felt so led, guys, to do what it is that I'm doing now. But this is how... When we haven't mastered our mind, we waste years um, in a business model or strategy that we we dread. So even when when I first came on, so before I came online, I was actually working with several different industries, and I needed to find a lane. Um, because listen, we're on the internet; it's huge. You have to have something distinct that's going to help you attract the people that you are assigned to, to help, the services that you have are specific and unique for. But even in that, I knew, uh, I don't know, for those of you who have been following me for a while, if you look at my uh, business page that we're on now, you'll notice if you go to the side, you'll see my story. So I woke up a few months ago, I believe, maybe about four or five months ago, and I was like, things are working for me, but I know there's more and I know I should be doing this different. I had everything changed. My story on uh, Facebook, my website, my about page, my website is RenewFullCircle.com uh, for those of you who haven't seen that. But I knew that I should be operating differently. I knew that I was not only called to help people find, you know, tactics or strategies for their business, but I knew my assignment was for the woman's whole life. I've been knowing this for years. It is something God told me in my prayer time, but because I hadn't mastered my mind, because I hadn't um, allowed myself mm -hmm. the freedom to do it the way I knew it should have been done, I'm not going to say that I wasted years because I was able to help some people during that time. But when I gave myself full permission to teach uh, mindset, personal growth, and business building strategies, and to extend it outside of just the salon industry, which is where I first started with other helping other industries, I've never felt better. I've never felt more purpose-driven in what I'm doing. And so many people are in their craft to the point where they won't give themselves permission to do it differently or to do it bigger. I know that I am assigned to women who know there's something down on the inside of them that keeps nudging them to do it different, but fear and not having an example or seeing how it can be done is what's holding them back. I'm called to them. So one of the things that helped me when I was coach, when I had a coach who, who shared this specific thing with me was my coach shared how 
there are different people assigned to different things. So some people are assigned to leaders and some people are assigned to the masses. When I, when she helped me clarify that I was assigned to leaders, it shifted things for me. So I knew that I was called to women just like you who are called to the masses. So you may serve tons of people if you give yourself permission. And the way you do that, the only way you're going to do that is if you master your mind. If not, we will continue to um, live small, build in mediocrity, and we'll continue to do things that are, they're producing revenue, but not what we are intended to have. So I just wanted to share with you all this morning to master your mind. It's it's one of the things I do with my clients. Often we do, um, I've created mindset tools that help them to walk out the process. And so many people don't really understand the value of having a coach because they look at uh, having a coach as an expense, but it's actually an investment. Uh, my clients who coach with me make their money back over and over and over again, but they have the accountability and the tools that they need to keep going. They have the tools to uh, do the things that may be preventing you from really moving forward and really digging down into that nudge or that thing that's on the inside of you that you just feel like, I got to do that thing. It keeps calling me to do this thing differently. And I wanted to share with you all this morning that uh, mastering your mind <clears throat> is going to be the key. I'm going to be um, walking my clients through those mindset tools at the retreat. Yes, they're going to leave with new strategies and new profit strategies. But if you don't have the mindset to achieve it, it becomes null and void. And this is why many of you are taking classes and taking courses now that you're not completing, that you're not finishing, that um, something just doesn't feel right. It's not necessarily because the information isn't valuable. It's because you have to have the mindset to be able to move through it. And once you've understood the, the foundational principles of mastering your mind and you've um, created systems that you can use for yourself, it helps you to push through even adversity. I shared with you guys earlier that um, these last three years that I've transitioned and built my consulting business on another level, I did it during times of adversity, but it's because I mastered my mind. I'm going to be sharing, I shared uh, more in depth about some of the things that I endured over the last three years with my mastermind members in our last call. And I asked them, how valuable do you think, you know, my story is? And one participant said, it's a must tell. You must tell women this because it's going to show them how they can move past adversity and keep going. And it's not that you avoid everyday life or things that are happening in your life. It's just that you've developed a different mindset. And this is what champions do. This is what people who really are pushing forward and they really want something greater in their life and they've decided they don't want to settle, right? So if they understand and they're aware, I got this thing, but I can't seem to push that thing forward, then they go and get help. It's an exchange. It's a sacrifice for, you know, something that's not really bringing you the return that you need for something that's going to give you return over and over and over again. I believe that the experience that God has allowed me to create and a lot of it was my time with him and him directing me on what to do next what to study next what to who to coach with who to connect to has led to the full circle experience that I am able to offer my clients women in today's times not only need strategies for their business they need um, mindset tools for every new next level because we got a new thought process to try and overcome in order to make those new moves. We need personal growth. Um, personal growth may be your habits. I <clears throat> I don't know how many of you saw the post I did about um, gossiping. So I had a sign in the salon that said smart women, women talk about ideas, not people. And you know, I'd had that sign up since 2003 in my salon. And just recently, like in this month here that we're in, I saw that someone did a study on uh, 
the habits of wealthy people and the habits of poor people and gossiping was something that you know wealthy people rarely did but one of the reasons is because they don't have time they're focused on their vision and they understand uh how things attract back into our lives and so being mindful of the words that you speak especially the ones that you're saying to yourself you've been following me i've been telling you guys to watch your thoughts watch your thinking watch what you're putting into the atmosphere it's real it's real and it's how even in the midst of what was adversity i was able to just recreate and redesign my life and it aligned with my vision another thing that has been super important is who i've been connected to it's made a huge huge difference if you think about the five people you spend the most time with the conversations that you're having if they're all about complaining it's not going to work and fear-based I don't care how strong we think we are and we say we are, those things drip down into our ear gates and our heart gates and they begin to have an effect on what we will and won't won't do. So if you're wanting to really move to your next level, master your mind. If you've been on the fence about coming to the retreat, it's going to change how you look at your life and your business, how you profit, and how you see everything that you put your hand to from that point on. www.strategicleadershipgrowth.com. We're winding down. It's getting close. And I'm feeling an even more urgency to share the opportunity for those who haven't joined yet, who've been sitting on the fence. And they know. They're saying, this is exactly what I need. I know this is what I need. I believe that what she is sharing is where I need to head in this season. So I invite you guys to the retreat August the 3rd through the 5th VIP. August the 4th through the 5th are the premium tickets. Uh, the payment, I have several payment options, but tomorrow those payment options um, lesson. So meaning the amount that you'd have to pay to save your seat will lessen and the amount of time, of course, because we're maybe 26 days, um, away from that opportunity. Master your mind guys, 80% of your success is going to be based on your thinking. And I love to support you in achieving the mindset that's going to actually help you manifest that big thing that you really have on the inside of your heart that continuously tugs on you. You push it down, you switch it, you change it, you deny it, but it will not go anywhere because it it is a desire that's been placed in your heart as part of your assignment in the marketplace. It's part of what you're called to do as part of your purpose. And I love to support you in manifesting that so that you can see greater um, prosperity in every area of your life. You guys have a super, super amazing day. Peace.